Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, I am fine. I am doing really well. So to all those Yanni friends and uh, people out there that sent me lovely messages about getting well after I had the bad fall, thank you so much. It did lift my spirits. I am still a little bruised under the eyes and my knees do seize up a bit when I sit down too long. But I did get the all clear and thumbs up from the doctor yesterday. So we're back on track. They say there's always someone worse off than you when you're feeling down. You should think that, you know, someone else is doing it a lot tougher than you. And for me, Linda, a crochet sister, um, she is doing it really tough. She had a big heart attack and she is still looking a little rough um, and not doing great. Linda is the sweetest and one of the most generous people in our Yarni community and she could use some love and uplifting, inspiring comments to make her feel better. So I'll leave a link in the description below if you're not subscribed to her channel or don't know how to find her. You can click on that and leave a comment on her videos. She likes to read them and leave something inspiring and uplifting to make her feel better. I'd really appreciate that because I know how important it was to me when I felt low and a little frail, I guess. I was made to feel like I was a little frail because I had fallen and I'm not frail. I'm a tough old broad. So why am I doing a video? Well, it's the 1st of October and it's time for the birthday make along. So let's get started. We review September. Before I do that, I was away when we reviewed August and I didn't have the yarn that was going in the prize pack with me. But here it is. It's Karen Party Yarn Simply Soft. It's beautiful and soft in the colour Green Sparkle. And I thought this would go really well with the red sparkle that's already in our prize pack. It's an 80 gram ball of Karen Simply Soft Party Yarn. That was for August. So September, let's review September. September was sapphire. The spiritual meaning is shrewdness and clear thinking. Well, I didn't have much clear thinking last week after the knock on the head, but I'm doing pretty good now. Shrewdness, well, I'm pretty shrewd about most things. Um, I'm not into um, having fair weather friends who, pre who pretend they're not when they really are. If you're honest and upfront about being a fair weather friend, that's fine. Um, I'm also pretty shrewd with my money. I like a good bargain and I am quite careful about how I spend it. So that's what it was for me. The pictures posted just blew me away. There are so many beautiful blue yarns out there in a range of blues like you wouldn't believe. Some of them were absolutely stunning and that made my um, purchasing something for the price pack more difficult living here in Cairns because when I went looking there wasn't a lot of blue that inspired me. However I did find one that I thought covered a sapphire really well. So I am going to put in the prize pack a Marvel printed um, yarn in eight ply and it's got a variegated range of blues and I thought that was really what a sapphire was like. Eight ply for those overseas is DK or three weight. It's 100% acrylic. It is lovely and soft. It's really popular here. I'm using it in my birthstone make along blanket and my luck of the draw blanket for Nan's next knots. It is a great yarn and often you can get it on special um, the more what do they call it solid colors I've never really seen the printed on special but I really did think that was a good one for the sapphire to go into the prize pack so October three months to go before the end of the year I can't believe it it's sometimes it's felt like it's dragged and other times it feels like it's flying by so, birthstone for October is opal. Yes, opal. Spiritual meaning, hope. Now, I don't know about you guys, but here with my friends and people I have met in Australia, 
Hope with opals, you either love them or hate them. I've never met anyone in between. You either really love them or really hate them. It's as simple as that. Um, I have done some research because there's some things I did know and some things I didn't know. For example, the two largest world supplier of opals are Australia and Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Australia um, supplies the world with 95 to 97% of the opals and most of those come from Cooper Pedy in South Australia. Cooper Pedy is an interesting place. It's a town where people live underground. It is on my bucket list to see when I can travel interstate because I think it would be awesome to see. Now on YouTube I have found a small video, it's about five minute long, minutes long on the town of Cooper Pedy and I will put it in the link below. I really recommend you watch it because it is an interesting place and they mine opals. The largest opal was found there in 1956. It's a year younger, a year older than me. It is called the Olympic Australis. It, it was found at the Eight Mile Opal Field in Cooper Pedy. It weighs 17,000 carats, which is about 3.5 kilos, 7.5 pounds, and it's 11 inches long. So that's the Cooper Pedy Opal. But for me, I like the opals from Lightning Ridge in New South Wales. They are a black darker opal and they're my sort of colours. We were travelling once when the boys were younger and Thing and I checked out an opal ring, a lightning ridge black opal in a shop and I nearly hit the ground when I found out how much it was. I told him he was going to buy it and I'm like no nah, it's not worth it. It's just another ring I don't need. They are beautiful but they are expensive. So what else can I tell you? I wasn't going to overload you with information about opals. So, oh, I do have an opal ring. I'm not sure you'll be able to see it very clearly. I was given this when I was about 16 and it's an opal in silver. It's an unusual design for a ring for a girl and um, it's not everybody's cup of tea. It's quite chunky. So there you have it. It's sort of like a teardrop that way. It's green with red flashes of light through it. It is quite nice, but it's not me. I don't sort of wear that sort of stuff anymore. It just sort of sits in my jewelry box. So there are a broad class of opals, but there are two main. There are the precious opals and the common opals. The precious opals um, have iridescent lights coming out of their facets. The common opals are milky, milky blue, milky green, milky opaly white. So that's the difference between the two classes and then there's subclasses of that. So having looked at the facets and all the different things to do with opals, what colours have I picked for October? Uh, none. I have decided October will be Choose Your Own Colour Yarn Adventure. You guys have to pick a colour that represents the opal in your project. Now to help you at the end of this video there will be pictures of precious opal, common opal, um, a black lightning ridge opal just to give you some ideas of what colours you can pick. You can pick a variegated colour but it is your choice because I cannot decide. There is such a vast colour range in the facets of opals, it was too difficult. I can't even decide what colour to put on my project. I can't wait to see what you pick. So please remember to post your pictures to the Facebook Make Along group or Instagram. Don't forget to hashtag them, um, birthstone, M-A-L Mal A-U for Australia. So it's hashtag birthstone Mal A-U. I will put it in the description below to remind you. If you don't want to do that, some people still um, send me the pictures. I will and give me permission. I post them on um, Facebook for everyone to see the projects. They're just not into social media. And that's fine because um, 
Reeves is in his 30s and he doesn't do social media. He doesn't like it. So there you have it. October is your choice. You choose your own yarn colour adventure. I am looking so forward to seeing what you guys pick. Might help me decide what to pick. So with that in mind, and a lot of the emails and feedback I got um, about being unwell and different things, there are a lot of people who have really enjoyed this make-along and have asked me, am I doing one next year and what will I be doing? I have decided I will do one next year, um, but it will be different. So first of all, I have picked the theme. It will be a different theme, but I'm not going to share that with you. I have two questions and I'd like answers in the comments below. I'm, I'm filling out feedback. Question number one, I felt once a month was possibly a little long to wait for the colour choice. And I'm thinking maybe once a fortnight, like do one on the 1st and one on the 15th. At the moment, we do the colours at the end of the month. Now, it could be the theme and or the colours on the 1st and the 15th. And that will cover that month. There'll be twice a month. I hope that's not too confusing. So there'll be 26 times that you get to do something. I'm also thinking each month you do a different project, just a little project. So you end up that you're doing 12 projects or you do a square and you end up doing squares. I don't know. Let me know what you think. There's three questions. The other one is, I won't do a make along without offering some sort of reward or acknowledgement of participating. So for the prize, would it be better to do a prize once a month and do 12 prizes or do one big prize like we are now at the end of the year? Please let me know. Please don't say no prize because I won't do a make along this big for this long without some sort of reward, even if it's a little reward to the people who um, participate. Let me know and then come next year, we'll kick off the year with a whole new theme and make along because I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed researching about um, birthstones. I thought I knew some stuff and I didn't and I've learned lots of stuff, especially about stuff we do in Australia. I never knew. I never knew Australia was one of the largest suppliers of opal to the world. So there you have it. Please, I really appreciate your feedback. No negative, nasty feedback. I just won't take it on board. I just want to have fun. Girls just want to have yarny fun. So guys, I hope you're well. I hope you take care. Remember, life's an adventure. And October for you is choose your own colour adventure for the birthstone make-along. Until next time, bye for now.